This is Primo. He's one of Lizzie's puppies. He's uh, about nine and a half weeks old now. Black and tan boy. Primo, say hello to everybody. Say hi, Primo. Oh, good boy. He'll be going to a new home in about three days. So we have just a few more days to spend with him. He's a very nice, gentle boy. But I, uh, I wanted to uh, have him with me as I explained to you the use of microchip identification in dogs. We do believe very strongly in identifying our dogs with microchips. It's a relatively simple process, it's permanent, and it's very effective in recovering lost pets if that should happen at any point. Um, the, uh, the microchips I use come in a syringe like that. So it's very, very similar to the puppy getting a vaccine. And the microchip is inserted in the back here, right by his shoulder blades. The microchip is extremely small. It's about the size maybe of a, a grain of dried rice. And um, it stays there. However, if at any point in his life he should get separated from his owner, and someone finds him, hopefully and presumably, the person who finds him would bring him to a place where they would have a microchip scanner. Uh, virtually every shelter, veterinarian, they all have scanners. I have one myself. Um, and uh, the scanner is very simple to use. All I have to do is hold the button in. The microchip is always inserted back here, so I just rub it back here till I hear a beep. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but his microchip number comes up on the scanner. There is a national microchip registry and there are a number of services that will allow you to register your dog in that uh, registry. Um, the, the two biggest are probably AKC Reunite um, and Home Again. There are a number of other ones um, and generally speaking for a small fee of maybe about uh, $20 or so, you register your pet for life with that number. And if that number comes up and you are registered with that number, then you will get contacted and told that your pet was found and where you can go to recover him or her. Right, little buddy? You with me so far? You following all this? Okay. Um, one little story that will show you the effectiveness of these microchips. Oh, maybe two or three years ago, our neighbor across the street noticed a dog walking up our street, not on a lead, not with anybody, not a dog that we've seen before. And in a busy suburban area like this, we generally don't see dogs walking off lead. So our neighbor um, got the dog and brought him to us because they knew that we have a scanner. We used the scanner to find his microchip number. I noticed that it was an AKC microchip, so I called AKC Reunite, and they were able to give me the address of the owner turned out to be a home that was only a few blocks away from here. So we put the dog on a lead, we brought him down to where his home was, knocked on the door, and were able to say, here's your dog, we have him safe and sound, and I think they were very appreciative. So that type of thing can happen at any time, and I think it's a, it's a really worthwhile thing to do. So. Little Primo here and his litter mates will be carrying microchip numbers for their lives, uh, which will help register them. And if you do have a deer pet, dog or cat or whatever, and you want to make sure that that pet is returned to you if the need should ever arise, if they should be lost, I would recommend looking into microchip identification. So, I don't know if you'll get to see too much of Primo between now and is going to his new home. So, Primo, say goodbye to everybody, bud. Say goodbye.
Bye. Bye. Well, he doesn't wave all that well. Don't.